Hey, what's up, guys? It's Cliff with Pen Flamingo Power Wash. I'm back with a brand new video for you guys. Today, we're working in Zephyr Hills, Florida. We're gonna be doing a big rust removal job. Last time I was there a few months back, we did the outside of the gate, and uh, lo and behold, the filter system malfunctioned. Actually, three out of the four filters broke, and all the rust came back. So, today, we're gonna be doing the inside of the villa uh, area. So, we're gonna be doing the sidewalks the uh, walkways and as well as the driveways for these customers. I got my boy Chris with me today and uh, we're gonna tackle this job together. We are gonna be using our pail sprayers today. We were gonna use the 12 volt as first to apply so it's faster, but <laughs> we forgot to get some of the supplies like wires. We actually forgot the wires at home. So today we're gonna start off with the pail sprayers. Maybe we'll come back uh, tomorrow, we'll bring the 12 volt. Uh, it's gonna be a big job. So it's gonna take a couple days to get it done. It is what it is. We're getting paid good. This is my biggest ticket so far. So let me show you guys what we got going on. It's a big, it's a big job. So I'm gonna show you guys in sections um, what the job looks like. So if you guys remember me and Carrie came out here. We did all the rust out here, all that. And look at this, all of it came back. It's not as bad as in there because obviously this was clean a few months back. Chris is already spraying inside of the gate. We're gonna be doing from the gate all the way in. So we're using oxalic acid to, um, to apply on this paper, on this uh, concrete. Uh, the mix we're doing today is gonna be um, 16 ounce per gallon. This side right here just got sprayed. You can see it's drying up already. We're not here for the dirt. We're not here for pressure washing. We're only here for the rust removal. So we're just applying the Oxalic right on the on the, on the pavement and then we're just gonna let it dry and take care of the rust You can see this part right here hasn't been sprayed yet. This side right here has been sprayed We're gonna be making our mixes in the buckets Turn this water off We're gonna be making our mixes in the buckets and like I said using the pail sprayers um our plan originally was to use our 12 volt, like I said before. This is a 12 volt we're gonna use. And we had a 15 gallon tank, we were gonna mix it in there and just use the 200 feet of hose just to run down, up and down to uh, do the rust, but we forgot the wire. So we'll do that plan tomorrow. So we are gonna be doing all the walkways in this neighborhood. I think it's about 85 houses. You guys can see, look, all that right there, how bad it is. And these houses are pretty pretty new and you can see some of it is actually on the house look at that all on the house all on the rocks <laughs> crazy right the pump station is right here it's one of them there's four of them total in the whole neighborhood And the filter system that was over here broke. I'm not I'm not sure which one's the filter, but one of them broke and threw rust all over here. The pipe had busted. So look at that. So that 16 ounce per gallon seemed like it's gonna be the ticket as far as the mix goes. You can see over here how white is turning compared to this area right here, we haven't sprayed. We're not doing the whole entire driveway on every driveway, but some of them are pretty bad. Most of them only got it on the edges. We we'll also be doing the drains. I'll walk down a little ways to show you guys some of them, some of them how they look. What sucks is that you gotta get all the customers to move their cars. Don't wanna annoy anybody, man. <laughs> but hey, I'm pretty sure they'll appreciate it when it's done. Let's see some of it right here on this house. Look at that. So when we apply it on the house, we'll go ahead and rinse it. The concrete, you don't have to rinse it. Look at that, it's all the way down. We gotta get all that cleaned up. It's gonna be a, a big project. 
Got some dark, dark stains right here. So we'll do the 16 ounce per gallon to uh, spray everything down. And then uh, if we gotta come back, touch it up, you know, we'll just do that. Like this whole entire driveway is covered pretty much. It's one of the bad ones. Go across the street, show you a couple over here. Pretty bad guys, pretty bad. I anticipate this probably gonna take us probably three trips. Today we'll put in like five hours into it maybe. Um, we'll come back the next day, put in a few more hours into it. I'm not sure how many hours total is gonna take, but I think three trips should be enough to get everything done because on the outside it took about it took three trips but it wasn't four days first day we worked six hours second day we worked like five and the third day i came to uh, tie on this touch up stuff it took about give or take two hours maybe so it didn't take that long i'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and make make, make me a bucket actually i'm gonna mix up those three buckets so when Chris finishes, he can just grab one and go. All right, we're gonna make our mix here. Like I said, we're gonna do 16 ounces per gallon. So each one of these are, so eight, 16, 24, 32. So we'll put two of these in here, in the five gallon. Uh, guys we're just watering down the grass on the edges and the asphalt so we can blend that uh, oxalic so it's not a straight line of uh, chemical where it's not noticeable so um, Chris is watering those down in the meantime I'm gonna go ahead and start over there on this fence over there get that cleaned up in this walkway up here walkway is horrible for this thing. <laughs> I'm gonna do that fence. The whole fence doesn't need it, but I'm gonna spray the whole thing. This rust is everywhere. So we'll start spraying from right here on this one here. One, two, three, four, and then go around the other way.
we're gonna go fill up with more water. I didn't bring that much with me. Today to start off with, I only had like a, about 50 gallons. So we're gonna fill up with some water because we're using it for the 12 volt to water down the grass and the plants. And we're using it also to make the chemical bucket. So it is what it is. Good to take a little break anyway. So Chris is doing the front of the um, property now. We were, we were only tasked to do from the gate, moving in to the neighborhood, but I say, what the heck, man. Just go ahead and do the front section, make it all match, right? You guys can see how all this area right here is looking like compared to over there. I gotta do the pillars. Chris did this one pillar over here. Probably gotta spray it again. Spray that pillar right there. We're gonna spray the other ones, but we need more water so we can water down the, gra uh, the grass and the plants around it before we do it. Before we do that, take you guys over there in the area that we did so far on this side. You guys can already tell the fence is cleaned up. is gone from over here. May come back and do a little touch up in this area here, but the concrete is like that. That's not rust, but just to make sure, I'm gonna spray it one more time. We're not here to clean algae. No algae, only rust. So see all the rust is gone. All the rust that was over here is gone too. Making good progress. Still early in the day. We got here kind of late today. We didn't start till one, about one o'clock, a little bit after one. So a little bit, about an hour and a half since we've been here. All right, stay tuned guys. No. Nah. pail sprayer is you can see all this right here was super dark earlier got that all cleaned up I'm also doing the walkway to the front door there's a walk long walkway over here and a long walkway on the back side over there and then these in the middle are the short ones uh, if, if they have the cars on the driveway I just leave it we're gonna come back and um you know finish up the job they actually sent an email for everybody to move their cars um, if the cars in the driveway, I leave it. If it's not, I go ahead and, and treat the driveway. You guys can see the driveways are looking pretty good. Probably gotta do a little touch up here. Also do the curbs. You guys can see the curbs are cleaned up. Chris is spraying over there. You can see where he stopped. So that side is sprayed. Under here is sprayed, but you can see the driveway itself is still rusty. Take a walk down here. See how we're looking. Looking pretty good. Look at this driveway. Look at that driveway versus this driveway right here. Big difference, man. Look at that strong man over there. Strong man. He oh look at that. <laughs> 
Yeah, that's uh, pretty looking good, man. Looking pretty good. I was gonna just skip the whole driveway if there's a car, but I just thought about it. I said, man, I'm gonna go ahead and hit the bottom parts just for the heck of it, man, when I'm already here. So I already sprayed the bottoms all the way down as well and just left the actual driveway. Making good progress, guys. Appreciate y'all checking out the video. Make sure you like, leave a comment, share this video uh, to your friends and family so we can get more um, views on this video. All right, y'all, we're shutting it down for the day. Right now, it's almost six o'clock, it's 5.48. Um, we got a lot of the driveways done. We did two buildings on each side. So the whole street has four buildings. So we're gonna, so we're about halfway done as far as the street goes. We did most of the driveways. There was cars on some of them at the top. So we just did the bottoms. The ones that were open, we just did the whole thing. Show you guys an example. Like we cleaned the entire bottom side of this driveway here. And you can see where the rust is. We're gonna have to touch that up. The drains curbing is nice and white. Chris did this side here. Show you guys another one. You can see down here is all cleaned up. We sprayed the driveway over here, but cars here, so we skipped that one. We're using a lot of oxalic, man. I thought <laughs> two and a half bags was gonna be enough. No, sir, <laughs> we need more. Cause with rust, you never know. Cause you think you apply it one time, it's gonna go away. No, sir, you gotta apply it multiple times to, uh, to get everything to look nice and clean how it's supposed to be. So um, definitely gotta get some more chemical. Right, you guys so we're gonna pack it up and uh, head out back into town it's a 45 minute ride to um, Tampa from Pacific Hill so y'all have a good one and I'm gonna see y'all in the morning when we come back stay tuned all right guys we're back this next day um, I got Chris with me see his rig is right here shout out the clean street I got my boy Kale with me today as well. So we're gonna triple team this project. I would love to see if we can get it done all today. If not, at least get 90% of it done. Right now we got about 30% done. So that'll give me one more day. I can just come back by myself and finish it up. But I think we'll be done uh, so far. Like I showed you guys, now everything is dried. It's looking pretty good. We still gotta go through and hit the sides of the um, these areas like right here. And some of these pavers right here in the middle. But as far as the concrete goes, you guys can see, they're looking good. We had the residents move the uh, their cars. Well, they sent out an email for them to move their cars. So all of these are done already, a couple of them um customers they move their cars last time we were here so over here you can tell how we did this one here but somebody was parked there big difference here so we're gonna spray all that today the walkway got sprayed the driver didn't get sprayed and these two had cars on them So we're gonna respray everything over here. We're still using oxalic acid. Um, Chris has his dolly. He's gonna use his dolly. Um, my dolly broke that I had. We were gonna use the 12 volt system um, with the seven GPM, but we didn't wanna run through the chemical too fast and flooding the areas with too much uh, chemical and with, it's gonna be a big waste. So therefore we're gonna um, use the pail sprayers for the whole job. Having Kerry here with us is gonna help us a lot. He's gonna make the mixes for us in the, in the five gallon buckets. 
all we gotta do is grab it and go. So um, we should be making good progress today. All right, these are the first two driveways. touch up a little bit on the sidewalk. We'll go over to those two next. And we'll finish up this walkway. Make sure it's right. All right, we just sprayed these two. Put 6732 and 6726. We're going to give a touch up over here. We had a car in the driveway at 6736 last time we were here. Okay, we just finished 6742, 6736. We've all been sprayed. We are now in front of 6748, which we were able to get the driveway taken care of on, on Saturday. 6752 needs a little touch up. And then we will continue on. All right, we just did some touch up over there at 6788 and 6782. That's where the moisture is coming from. That's still on the driveway and sidewalk over there. We did that section of wall underneath that fence by that home's walkway. Now we're coming directly across the street and we're gonna start doing some touch up from the work that was done on Saturday. In these areas, a couple of them had cars that were parked in our way, but others, even though they've been treated, have a little bit of staining left behind, so we gotta hit it again. As you can see, it just needs a little more love. We are using oxalic acid. When you're doing big jobs like this, you know, F9 bark is great, great product, but it's gonna cost you too much. If you buy anything as far as like already made already, like Rust Aid, too much money. A bag of oxalic makes uh, about 50 gallons. So, and that's only 125 bucks after um, taxes. So we got Chris over here spraying so far. Just spray it on a nice layer and let it let it dry up. You don't need to rinse it or nothing like that. Some of these, some of these cars park on the curbs. So we're gonna try try to do as much as we can. If they move it, we'll clean it. If they they don't move it, then mm, I don't know. <laughs> what do I care? What look at it. Grandpa got them cool shades on yeah, today, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, on Twitch? Yeah. You, you you're a gamer, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Follow me on Twitch, man. I am C4, man. Go tap in with the game log. There you go. So I'm gonna load up my pail of sprayer and start going myself. finished this side here i got carrie going right now to uh touch up any spots that were missed i started back coming this way from this corner here coming down towards where chris is right there doing the drains um where he's at is where we stopped at on uh, the first day 
So everything coming this way is what we're cleaning. This side, all this side over here is already sprayed. You can see a difference between these areas here, still drying, versus that area right there with all the rust. So Carrie's coming towards me, touching up everything I just sprayed. You know, you got a little remnants of the rust. See these little areas like right here. He'll touch all those up for me. Some areas over here, the drains. But for the most part, you guys can see it's looking good. Some of these driveways were real bad. We got to go back and treat them again. If we look across the street, it's a big dark spot right here where that stain was there for a long time. It's not going to come out perfect, but we want to get it close as possible. We're not promising new brand new concrete. <laughs> so, but everything is looking much brighter out here. I'm gonna work towards Chris. And um, we still gotta do the back area, which is a cul de sac. But that's not that much. section home run stretch we will get this done today uh, we will not be denied so this is the spot on uh, the spot that we're doing now it's called a sack that wraps around this side has already been sprayed we're just gonna have the spot treated for a few little spot that that didn't get hit pretty good Chris is heading this way now Everything looks over here. It's going all the way around to the other side. This part is very bad. I'm not sure why, especially over there by that dumpster. And then we gotta do that building, this building right here next to the, to the left. And that'll be it. You can see, it looks like they stopped around here. This stuff was bad. Oh yeah, this stopped right here. Look at the difference. This side is treated. And then this side has not. So Chris is coming this way. I am currently at this building. I'm gonna do this building here and that building right there next to it. Those are not ready. We're not doing those.
care of you guys. We all finished for the day. Very long day right now. It is 6.49. We got here about 8.30 this morning. Chris left. Uh, Carrie had to leave around 4 o'clock. But we got all the job done. Shout out my boy Carrie and Chris. I appreciate y'all, boy, man. Major love. Without y'all, I wouldn't be able to get this done as quick as I did. I uh, appreciate the help. So let me show you guys a little recap. So we're going to start from the front of the property. We did the uh, sidewalk. There was a lot of rust on this wall. If you guys remember, still kind of wet over here. We just sprayed this as we were doing the end of the wall over there that had a lot of rust. Everything up here is clean. I'm not gonna walk all the way down, but you know, I'll show you guys a little recap of everything. I am hungry, I am thirsty. I drank like three bottles of water, four Gatorades. I didn't eat though. They look good everywhere. No rust. My biggest ticket by far. <laughs> by far. Back here is the cul de sac. Thing is white. All the way down. About this side here. Can't beat this at all. This part right here was super bad. Up. Looks like a whole different neighborhood. This this neighborhood has only been around uh, less than a year. There's some customers that just moved in here May of this year, like May, June, into a brand new house and to have this issue. So I'm pretty sure they uh, appreciate it. All that rust got cleaned up. A lot of the spaces, the gutters didn't get clean because there was cars there today. It was told for everyone to park in the street, but, but <laughs> they didn't say don't park on the curbs. So we did all the curbs that we could do. see a big block that didn't get clean that right there that was a car and of course this is the front where we did the gate it had a lot of rust on it Got that gate cleaned up this right here is cleaned up as well. All right, guys. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. That was a whole lot of rust removal today. I am tired. Ready to go home. So if y'all enjoy it, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell so you know when I put up a new video. Share the video. Any questions you got, drop it in the comment section, and I'll get back to you guys. Y'all have a good one. I'll see y'all next one. Peace.